Sky I-17 shows crews cleaning up hundreds of gallons of sewage that overflowed right here in Cary. The town says someone thought it'd be fun to toss rocks in a manhole, and that's what caused this problem. Cleanup crews spent most of Wednesday and much of today clearing the clog. CBS 17's Robert Richardson is getting answers about the hazards created by vandals. Harry processes 17 million gallons of wastewater every day, and occasionally some gets out. Anytime that um, there's a sewer overflow where untreated wastewater escapes our sewer system, uh, there's the opportunity for it to get into the environment and come in contact with uh, citizens and the public. The overflow here on Fumigali Drive was entirely man made. These rocks are here to combat erosion as there's drainage down along this creek, but the town of Cary says that someone came along, picked up dozens of these rocks, pried open the manhole cover, and dropped them down the drain. There are now new screws and bolts to keep this from happening again. Anyone who accesses the sewer system that is not authorized and places is an item in the sewer that can cause a blockage or a backup, it is potentially a vandalism act. Wastewater Collections Program Manager Ronald Smith says whoever did this faces a steep fine and needs to realize the danger posed to neighbors. Have a good, have a good. It also takes a toll on the town's resources. We have to get anywhere from you know six to ten staff out here to clean up a sewer spill. It takes a lot of very sophisticated equipment that we could be using elsewhere. Robotic underground pressure washers called sewer jets and a camera that crawls through the pipe. But some of the removal is still done by shovel and lowering a basket trap to fish out debris. Fewer than 1,400 gallons got out this time thanks to a neighbor noticing the overflow and calling quickly. In Cary, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News.